Okay, so I'll make a bold prediction. Your next flagship may be a folding phone. Whoa! It's not me saying. See, if you look at this survey, by 2027, 4 out of 10 smartphones sold will be a folding phone. And that's not a surprise. The foldable smartphone market is expected to double in the next 4 years. So basically, folding phones are the next big thing in the smartphone market because visually, it's a huge upgrade. And brands like Oppo, OnePlus, Tecno, Samsung, Motorola all are launching folding phones. So we have this recently popular OnePlus Open which is termed as the best folding phone. So I used the OnePlus Open for like a week or so and the most interesting thing about this OnePlus Fold is it's not only a folding phone but this is the best phone created by OnePlus. And it starts with the unboxing experience itself like everything comes with the box. You get the phone, case, paperwork, charger, SIM ejector tool, a premium one, a complete unboxing, other flagships I hope you're taking notes which they won't. Now the most important aspect when it comes to a folding phone is the software experience. Like we had used the Tecno Fold a few months back and the software was just not optimized for a folding phone. Instagram would not open properly on the outer screen and all of that. Plus since this is basically a 2-in-1 phone, a tablet and a normal phone, brands have to put extra effort in optimizing the software for both the displays. And in that aspect, OnePlus has done a phenomenal job. Like if you're watching a video here on the cover screen but you want to watch it on a bigger screen. So if you open the Fold, the video seamlessly plays in tablet mode, there is no issue in aspect ratio, jitter or anything. But the best thing about the software is multitasking. So see, when I'm in tablet mode, the screen is double. I naturally want to use multiple apps. So I open one app, say Twitter. Oh, sorry, X. Two finger swipe down from the middle, you get this cool cut animation. And now I can select the second app that I want. Let's go with Google Chrome. Suppose you want to read more about something. So like I can have Twitter X open on one side and Google Chrome on the other. And not just that, I can even open a third app. Let's go with Facebook. Suppose you want to share on Facebook for all the millennials out there. Yay. And here's the cool thing. See, it opens in this form. And if the screen is virtually extended, I can tap at the far end and then this window becomes active. As of now, it can max do only three apps at a time, which is enough. Suppose I have Google Chrome running over here and WhatsApp over here. I can just copy anything from one window and paste it to the other. Can you drag and drop photos? <laughs> I haven't tried that. Let's see. Now, see over here, if I go to the recent tab from the dock, see it shows images and all of that. I can drag and drop images and send them as email. But if I do the same thing on WhatsApp, it is not working. See, item cannot be dropped. Maybe a software update can fix this. Speaking about the dock, here is a cool thing. So suppose I go to Instagram, see the dock gets smaller in size. And if you want to hide the dock, just press and hold over here, gone. Press and hold again, the dock comes back. Also, switching between apps is very fast. See, I type Facebook, boom. Tap on Instagram, boom. There's no lag or delay while launching the app. However, here's something weird that I noticed. See, both the displays are LTPO 3.0, meaning the refresh rate can go from 1 to 120 Hz. And I'll come to the displays in just a moment. But see, no matter what I do on the screen, the refresh rate stays consistent at 120 Hz. I don't know if it is a bug or anything, but this can be fixed with a software update. Speaking of which, OnePlus is giving 4 years of Android updates and 5 years of security updates which is highest for OnePlus and pretty good. Now folding phones are basically flagship phones. So you get the latest and the greatest specs too. This has Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, 16GB LPDDR5X RAM, 512GB UFS 4.0 storage. So this is by far the best specs I have seen on a folding phone. So normal daily performance is very smooth, doing social media, watching videos, multitasking and all of that there is no lag. Even games like BGMI and all will run smoothly for sure but i wanted to see how well gta san andreas runs here because every time i played it on a regular phone the display was pretty small but here the experience is pretty good like the entire screen was covered no black bars or anything and playing on it felt just similar to a tablet now apart from the software side of things another aspect that i personally liked with the oneplus open is the design see it weighs in around 244 245 grams and the z fold 5 weighs in around 257 grams so the OnePlus Open is lighter. It doesn't feel heavy on the hands, so that's a plus. Also, it even feels premium in the hands. You get this vegan leather finish, metal frames and everything. Now, there are two things that I really loved about the design of this phone. Number one is the hinge quality. Like they have introduced a new hinge called Flexion hinge, which makes opening and closing the phone very satisfying. Plus, there is no gap when the phone is closed shut. So no chances of dirt or anything going inside when it is in your pocket. Also, the crease here is very less. Like it shows up only at extreme angles, but most of the time it is not noticeable and number two of all the foldables that i have used i would say this is the most normal looking folding phone when you close it now see if i put the oneplus open here see it looks like 
any regular smartphone which in my opinion is a really good thing because i can do almost everything on the outer display like i would do it on any other phone and not once did it feel odd and the quality of the display is really good like i recently saw this web series called bodies on netflix if you like dark you should definitely give it a try the colors brightness and everything is very good on both the displays only thing is when you're watching movies in the tablet mode you get these black borders all the time which at times can be annoying but i got used to it very quickly also you have a quad speaker setup two speakers on the top two speakers on the bottom and the audio quality is really good like i finished the entire series without using any headphones or anything my only nitpick with the design is that the display doesn't stay open at every angle like it either stays open at 90 degree or it will open flat it cannot stay open in these angles and then there is this big camera island like this is huge see even with the included case if i keep the phone on the desk and type there is too much wobble which brings me to the camera like oneplus has always given the best camera hardware but software is where they fell short and the story is similar here too like hardware wise this phone has it all you get a 48 megapixel main camera 48 megapixel ultra wide 64 megapixel 3x telephoto camera and a 20 megapixel selfie shooter but if you see the photos i would say for the price the output could have been better like we took quite a few shots outdoor day time it is okay see the colors details and all are there but if you zoom in it appears a bit soft even in portrait mode see if i zoom in the pictures are a bit soft or even see this picture of the flower it is a bit soft and we tried this multiple times now we took the shot in ultra wide angle camera and i don't know why the picture looks slightly dull also there is a dedicated 3x zoom lens which is nice to take portrait photos now the best thing about foldable phone is you can use the main camera to take selfies like see the shot of me and sian we took in ultra wide it looks so good or if you want you can also take selfies from the front camera but overall for 1.4 lakh i was expecting a bit more So yeah those were the major major thing that i noticed with the new OnePlus Open other than that it has a pretty decent battery life you get a 4800 mAh battery which supports 67 watt fast charging charger is included in the box in my use case i was easily getting one day of battery life however this doesn't have wireless charging which for a phone at this price is kind of a bummer like OnePlus has done a good job with software optimization the hinge is good The display crease is minimal, performance is solid too. But when it comes to the cameras, it kind of falls short. However, considering this is OnePlus' first ever folding phone, I would give them a pass on this. And I'm hopeful about the future of folding phones with more players in the game. There will be more competition and better innovation. And for sure, in India, the folding phones have to get cheaper and closer to normal flagship smartphones to sell well. We'll just have to wait and see how the future for folding phone unfolds. Till then, this is Adik signing off, and I'll see you in the next one. Pew pew.